So here's my masterpiece all finished, a wedding cake crossed with the Tower of Babel. And I'm going to show those noobs exactly what I can do. So I've got my camera, got my light, check my samples. I heard that one million samples is good. And now let's hit that render button. Two thousand years later. So let's take a look. What is this? Welcome everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tutor, back today with another quick tutorial. I know Blender isn't broken, what it is is actually we need to sort out our shading so we don't end up with those blocky Lego type renders that you see so often when people are showing off their renders. So how do we get rid of this? So the first thing you do is you click on your object and you're going to right click, you're going to come up to where it says Shade Smooth. And you'll notice that although it's done something and it looks better maybe, it's not actually fixed the problem. So the next thing you need to do is you need to come over to the right hand side where you've got this actual triangle and you need to just click on auto smooth. And now you'll see that it's actually sorted out most of the problem, but we still have the problem in that this part is still rounded off. Now you can come over and turn this up or turn it down and you will end up where you can actually get edges actually appearing on here. Now that is what you want, right? But if you actually join this up to another object where the actual auto smooth is set a little bit differently, it will actually pick one of the auto smooths. So it's not actually great. So the best thing to do is leave this on 30, which is the blender default, press the tab button, and then what you're going to do is you're gonna come in and you're gonna grab all of the edges what you want actually to be shot. So we're gonna press Alt, Shift and click, going all the way around. So we've picked that edge loop, and then what you're going to do is you're going to click right click come down and you'll see one that says mark sharp and now when we press tab you'll see that we've got a sharp there let's just make a sharp on the next one so it's alt shift and click right click mark sharp tab and there we go problem fixed and now when we hit the render button there we go a perfect cake crossed with the tower of babel okay everyone so i hope you enjoyed that if you enjoyed it give me a like give me a comment let me know if there's any that you want me to cover which you're having problems with or that you know a lot of people have problems with. And if you want to support me or find out exactly what courses I do, check out the links down below. Okay everyone, until next time, happy modeling. Bye bye.